will die and the young will forget. But look at us here today. The young did not forget. Seeing the turnout today is well, it's incredible, you know, like obviously the school year is over, lots of folks have left. And so, um, you know, as much as I uh, had high hopes for this rally, I also had realistic hopes of like what the turnout was going to be. And um, honestly, my like this turnout far like exceeded my expectations. And I think it goes to show how much support there is for Palestine in State College and at Penn State. You know, when people think about Palestine, I think sometimes people think like, oh, like it's overseas, it's so far away, why should we care? Why does this matter for us? Uh, but, you know, as people who stand here in support of justice, we understand that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And so it is so, so important for us to work for the liberation of Palestine here, just as it is um, for Palestinians to work for their liberation in Palestine. What happens, especially in Palestine, concerns what happens here. The same kind of police, or sur police or surveillance, terrorism, and you know this kind of uh, surveillance, surveillance and op oppressive mechanism that gets trained by the American police force gets exported and distributed along with the Israelis in the in their kind of militarized society. So there is a direct transfer of not only the money but the technology and the you know instruments of oppression that goes between Israel and the United States. I have been involved in pa pa Palestinian liberation activism for a number of years ever since my ever since I was undergraduate. And I am deeply aware of how the Israeli policies of occupation and ethnic, ethnic cleansing in Palestine, and it is a policy of ethnic cleansing. To the sea! Palestine will be free! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free Palestine. Free Palestine.